Ling will win against the Sicilian. Mm-hmm. Just uh, one attempt with the Sanguine Claws and... That's right. You know, Ling would just be able to hop on the wall and hop on back onto you with That's the... Right. With the Tempest of Blades, or even just go for the Tempest of Blades straight up if you're gonna go for a Sanguine Claws. And I am not liking the odds here of Onic PH just with the draft itself. I can honestly say that I agree with you. I think that if you are looking for a lineup that will put you to a game three after being down by a sick, uh, how do you say this, a uh, very competitive game after losing a close game. You don't get back by playing this. I mean, you can get back by playing creatively, right? You're picking creative heroes, getting out of your zone. But this dish that Onyx PH is Welcome giving us, it the plating is not good. I hope that at least the taste is going to be different as we head into the game, Mr. Nomad. I completely agree. And it's d on that Gatotkacha. Really going to be... Rolling on that side, and he's going up against a jawhead too. Not, not a good. I mean, in all fairnessness, Gadot Kacha would last longer against a jawhead compared to a thumb. So good on them to at least match the X Borg with that uh, thumbs. But Nilar is not gonna have a good time here in the early game, at the very least. Uh -huh. Um. Do not be surprised, however, because this Gadot Kacha is already considered as one of the valid fighters or offlaners out there. Perhaps because of the many bans that we saw on the Dillar possible heroes, that's probably what prompted them to go for it. And they also badly want to steal this Cho away from their opponents. Nice setup, however! Okay, Sanguine Claw setting up for the Thorn Rose, but it's not going to be enough. It's way too early. However, the damage that, he, that they dealt is going to be good. Oh, that's bad. Iakno going to fall. The first kill going in favor of XO. XO. That was one HP in a dream for him as well. And Jay is rotating. You typically don't see this from a Cho. Yeah. Cho's relegated mostly on the side lane. It is a support Cho, which would mean that he would relatively fall off in terms of the damage output, but you're going to be benefiting off of the Jeet Kune Do's and the way of the dragons is, is, yes. that's available to him inherently in all skirmishes in the map. This is weird because we ex kind of expected Onyx Page to deal well against the Popol and Koopa, knowing that they are a Popol and Koopa team. And it seems like they're getting bullied at. Honestly, if I'm... If I'm the problem group now, if I'm X-Win, I'm so happy with whatever I'm achieving already in the early stages. The fact that I'm really being a thorn or being very pesky means a lot. Now they're setting up for a kill of the Y. Step is a blades. Oh, what a nice dash coming out from Y to get away. Can they get more yeah. Avatar of the Guardian? Hitting yeah. nothing but germs. In comes the ultimate as well from the, from the Sicilian. And with all those thrown out, nobody will die. Yeah, nothing but germs is exactly what happened there. Because the Lar, uh, I mean, Gatot Kacha, Avatar the Guardian takes a long time to channel, and you're already uh, telegramming what you're wanting to do as XOXO. 1v3 almost takes down Wise. Nevertheless, Wise will be able to secure the orange buff for his team. It would be so bad if they can't get that second rotation of buffs for the Lancelot. Because it's... What the hell was that? <laughs> can't blame Wise. I mean, it happened to me. Ask Nate Frost. But nevertheless, <laughs> they'll get the kill. Onto the middle. They want to get more. Yep. Onto Albert. You're going to be disengaging once again. Yep. And so a little start, the... yeah. A little story time, man. Just very Go quick. You see why he's using the thorn rose in the air <laughs> while there's a buff. Mm -hmm. That happened to me many times, at least five times. And it was Nate Frost who was supporting for me, who was funneling for me, and he saw every bit of it. <laughs> Turtle will be staying by the last one. Oh, Sagwood very good. You can see after the Guardian. But not the best timing away for us. He were, they were stopped. Two down on the side of Onyx PH. Could be three. But Jay is going to be able to run away. That was an avatar of the Guardian in place as well. Not even used to uh, oh, reposition. Oh, that's why. Place. That's why. I see. I see. 
but that's why it wasn't as potent. Nevertheless, it's a big lead, or at least, it, if not big, very substantial at this point. 10.9k already up for RQ, which puts their lead up to about a 2,000 gold. And that's great because Albert is near, well, not near, already up with the Raptor Machete and all the, already with the Azure Blade. Look at XOXO, the Thams going for a Molten Core. Or what's it called? The Mark Molten Core? Molten Core. Yeah, it's Scarlet the Curse Helmet now. <laughs> that's how fast it is for the Thams. Yep. And that's massive. And Albert's point. joining in on the fight here. And they will manage to secure the skill onto Iaknu. <laughs> Being completely surrounded there. Turret gonna go down as well. Cho, uh, Jay's gonna be stopping any retreats here, but I don't think it's a wise call. <gasps> He spots out the Ling, but instead of opening, uh, opting to go for x win x win forced to use the Flicker. Man, the mistakes are coming out here for Onyx PH. But it's a lot of jitters for sure. I mean, this is not elimination, but them not having a good spot in the playoffs is bad now. They've caught the Valir. Not going to be they? enough. It's a pushback win there. What a play. A searing torrent, man. And I guess he also used the Consecration, the ultimate. Was it called the Consecration? But Consecrate the Flames. Yeah. That to, was great because uh, it's a remove the stun. Yeah. yeah. It's a big cleanse and the, the pushback as well. Uh, <laughs> they almost had a good outing here on PH. 2,000 gold lead immediately after just two skirmishes. That's right. And this turtle is up next. RQ is gonna have a good time here. Jay looking for an opportunity to go for the steal. Retribution is finally up here on Wise. Looking for an opportunity. Link's gonna be able to secure that. Jay's gonna be in the back lines. Does not have Wave the Dragon and he gets CC to Oblivion. Not able to move at all. He just dropped his cell phone altogether because he's not gonna be able to play the game for the next 15 seconds. As an endless battle being picked up by Albert. And another big rotation from RQ here on over towards the bottom lane. There's a crab that they're gonna take. They spotted out Wise. Hit. Not gonna uh, hit onto that Valir. And Wise is threading the needle now. I wanna go for the pop and Goopa will be successful in doing so, but the punishment is there from the Valir as well as the Ling. They will slice and dice Wise moment. And will be ahead by almost 4,000 gold six minutes in. That's a tall mountain to climb for Onyx BH. The tallest of all mountains. Even taller than Mount Everest itself. And looking in this back lines, XOXO has a speed boost. Boost will uh, reposition himself as they try to uh, secure more of the jungle here to steal from Wise. Orange Buff is going to be started out by Onyx PH, but I don't think it's. Yeah, it's still going to be going to Wise. I don't think it's going to be uh, stolen there by our RQ. And they're going to be focusing on over towards this mid lane, opening up the entire map for themselves. But that's XOXO being caught out. But he is just going to be out sustaining everybody. Corner Run Inferno is going to be uh, pursued there as the pursuit of Onyx PH is going to happen. Yaknu's immortality is going to be popped. He's going to be able to make it out alive. That's still a couple of minutes before the Overtality gets back online, and he has to wait patiently for that oh before he joins in on the fray. A lot of uh, skills thrown out, a lot of ultimates, but nobody dying. Nevertheless, that's a push um, in favor of RRQ, so that's Turtle great. Really keeps their momentum when it comes to inflating their lead. And in fact, it's massive now. It's almost it's 18,000 compared to 22,000. And this battle, and you can see for... For Wise, there's not the big item yet for him. I thought that the game number one was already bad, but this game is worse for Wise. The third turtle taken by Ling. And you can honestly say that when the early game is over, the big victors are already RRQ. And the way I see it, Nomad, whoever takes the early game almost always wins the match. Yeah, and um, RQ just solidifying the lead there that they have secured. They're cutting the lanes, they're destroying turrets, they're making sure that there is no opportunity for Onyx Page to even cross the river. Yeah. That's how dominant RQ is here. That's they're, absolutely uh, they're, right. 
They're asserting their dominance, even after JJ gets a Jeet Kundo and the Wave of the Dragon, but it's not going to be as impactful because he's going to be forced back here as he gets stunned to oblivion once again, and Albert secures the kill. And that might just be a kill onto XOXO. It is going to be a kill, a one-for-one -one trade, but that's a support for a side lane. Good enough for Onik. Good enough for Onik. They need more of that. Now the orange buff, that's a problem. Skylar tossing it around <laughs> just to give it to Albert, the biggest alley-oop of Southeast Asia. It wasn't a hero, but it was um, as important as a hero. My goodness, that orange buff given him. And taken away from Onyx PH. Oh, they jump on the back line. Step is of blades. Wanna go for the Sicilian. And what did we say about this matchup? It's not gonna be in favor of the Sicilian Ling. Taking him out. Weiss in no man's land now. He's the real he's like a nomad now. Nomad. And mm -hmm. it seems like he will that's not survive it. this. Takes one down no with way. him. But that's a mega kill for the Ling. I thought Weiss was there was a slight uh glimmer of hope there that wise might be able to outmaneuver them but nope that's a ling that's right Lord, that's impossible. a dead ling uh, imp impossible for them to get it nevertheless mr nomad we still have a lot of control we're not from rq a little bit of recovery from uh, onic ph but a little bit is not gonna cut it. They need a full recovery if they still want to force the game free. It seems like with this Lord take, this is the final nail in the coffin for Onyx PH. Up top, Cotter and Inferno just to zone them out. So as the Lord take is totally possible for the side. Oh, Albert all of a sudden in the bottom lane spots out Dilar. Short range Avatar, Avatar of the Dark Guardian. Guardian. Yep. But in That's comes Skylar. Does have the flicker, doesn't even need it. Maximum charge, maximum charge, double. double force. I mean, that's maximum charge, maximum charged. <laughs> that's yeah, more. charged up to the maximum. That's ultimate. right. You are correct. <laughs> I can't. And you are correct, sir. We can't. What do you mean anymore. you can't English? We're in the English broadcast. That's right. We just did. You it. can English. We're just losing our words because of how beautifully RQ is playing you this. You are correct. And you know what, who else is losing? Onyx PH. It's gonna be incredibly hard for them to defend now. In fact, on RQ is just gonna take their turret away from them. Top lane, a little bit of pressure now. Bottom lane is big contention. Weiss already used the third rows and he's doing badly mm -hmm. against the Ling. Almost burst it down, has to part back to base. In comes the last insanity. Oh my, Nomad, it's not looking good. Avatar Guardian onto nothing but germs. Quickly punished by RQ. They take down the Gotta for sure. Unstoppable Ling. Right at ya. Onyx PH, how can they do this, Nomad? It's gonna be hard for them to defend this. All fronts are gonna be are being pushed up right now. As another ejection onto Wise, and that's that's it. That's But the HPs it. are low though. HPs are very low there for RQ. If Onyx PH decides to push out here, could it could be a good idea, but it's still oh, no way. Maybe he gets another ejection, but the Sanguine Claw does, does get two. Wow. Oh my, BS6 uh, double kill there onto Skylar and to A24. Just clearly, clearly surviving. Oh my, Venus getting a triple kill for himself. No way. We thought for sure that this is over, but oh my, Venus says it's the late game. I mean, Cecilia normally is a good scaling mage. With all this, this is probably why they, they chose it, right? Because you see a lot of squishy heroes coming out from uh, the side of RRQ and you theoretically think, okay, Sicilian might be good to, when it comes to bursting them down. But that's just one piece of the pie. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You still have to survive. In that specific clash, however, the usage of skills from All My Venus is masterful. And if there's someone that Dilar and Wise and Yakno has to buy some beer. That's at, definitely uh, on my Venus. Albert is uh, just completely cut out the waves. Yeah. That's and it. he, he's. This is the beauty of having a Ling on your side. Oh yeah, the Lings. 
The Link can just reposition himself if Onyx Page decides to push out. There's a threat of Link pushing in and even potentially ending the game right then and there. I have done that in a game. Yeah, that's right. It's thrilling and it's not as easy to do because you need to have the proper amount of game sense. That's right. For that to push, for that to push through. It's looking uh, quite close, definitely, for both teams. We can see the items starting to rack up. Uh, I think that with the Vine Glaive Truncheon, both Truncheons, I mean, for the Sicilian, that's gonna hurt. But anyways, it seems like there will be a fight now. Oh, what a Sangu Claw! Look at the damage! Clocks onto Koopa and XOXO, and they are gonna be forcing in Dilar. Charging up an opportunity to go for the Avatar of the Guardian, but I don't think it's going to be the wisest of calls here. Jawhead is going to be in the backline. Skylar looking for an opportunity to back in, and that's going to be Link with the Tempest of Blades. Immortality is going to be popped here. Sword Rose is left and right. Skylar secures a kill onto Wise. Let's go to Last Insanity. Dilar actually managed to uh, get the kill on the X-Win, and it's me. Uh, oh, uh, no. Dilar, Jay, alone. Not just Jay, alone, now. And that should Did be you. it. What a I nice job. words. Outside of their base, they don't have any chance to go up against RQ. Jay trying to defend this like a lone samurai against the Tigers. Nevertheless, RQ are going to bite them down and take this game for themselves. A 2-0 for RQ. Almost... But not quite. Uh, we, were, we, were, we were expecting a three-game series, and unfortunately... That did not happen. I was, I'm actually kind of disappointed with how Onyx PH drafted that game. Really, the the amount of gatot catches that we have in the tournament that 